This protest started peacefully with more than a thousand people. Business owners that I spoke with say that it started off very well, but things took a turn. Take a look at this video. Protesters are calling for justice for George Floyd and an end to police brutality. Now, this was one of several protests. Hampton Roads here over the weekend and again things started peacefully with the majority of the night with chance of no justice, no peace and Black Lives Matter. And our Brett Hall heard one woman explain to her child this is how you protest. They started on Rudy Loop and went all the way up to First Street and that's and then they went about two dozen blocks and at one point they took a knee with police but around 10 o'clock that's when things started to heat up and you can see here in the chopper 10 video a police car is surrounded by protesters and we do know that the police car's window was shattered at that same time the driver of a pickup truck revved its engine and sped through protesters then police declared an unlawful assembly around 10:30. And around 11, there was a standoff with the group, and then police deployed tear gas several times. Now, things have cleared up now. Business owners are coming out to take a look at the damage and clean up. We did speak with several business owners who are just devastated by what has happened here overnight. They say they just reopened because of the coronavirus concerns, and now they have another obstacle they have to face. In Virginia Beach, Kiana Patterson, 10 on your side.